my love hello my loves welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you what is in my backpack this school year so i hope you enjoy and let's get into the video so this year for school i actually did not get a backpack I got a handbag. Well, I like to call it a tote bag because of how long the straps are, but I'm absolutely obsessed with this bag. This is from French Connection. And of course I added my own little pink accent to the bag, but that is the front of the bag. And then that is what the back looks like. This bag actually fits so much. So let's get into what's inside. Just for reference, this is what the inside of the bag looks like. The one thing that is a bit annoying about this bag is that it doesn't have any pockets. So I can't really put anything mini in here without losing it. So I'm probably just gonna keep it here or here. So I can easily reach what's inside the bag. So I'm gonna show you from kind of biggest to smallest. So at the back of the bag, which I didn't actually show in my school supplies video, make sure to go check it out. I'm gonna leave it in the iCard here or here. But I got these three campus textbooks and I got pastel colors because I just really wanted a theme. So I've got baby pink, baby blue, and then a baby purple. This is the main one I'll be taking to school for now because this is what I'm using for my biology. For year 10 this year, we need to have three separate books for biology, physics, and chemistry. I've chosen this colour for biology because number one I like biology the most out of all three of the sciences and I love pink so I thought it would be fitting to have my favourite science with my favourite colour but also I can just see biology being pink. I've already started doing some work as well in this book. Can we take a moment to appreciate how neat my notes are? Like, like... I am very, very satisfied. The next thing is this pink planner, which I also showed in my back to school supplies shopping on haul. I'm gonna stop making references to that video because everything in my bag is from that video. But anyways, this is what the planner looks like in case you haven't seen it yet. Bye. I forgot to mention, but when I'm filming this video, I have actually already gone back to school, but I haven't really gotten that many books, so I'm not gonna show them, but this is just the main things that I'll be keeping in my bag throughout the school year. Then the next thing is my trusty emergency kit, which I also have a video on if you would like to check out what's inside of this, but just in case you don't, I'm gonna just show you a little bit. In the back here, I have pads. And then in the front, I have the more interesting stuff. So I have some hand cream, deodorant, too many perfumes, and an extra hair tie. I might keep a claw clip in here as well, I'm not sure. But I usually always have a hair tie on my wrist anyway. But the next thing I have is a reading book. You always have to have a reading book with you in your bag, and I always do anyway. And this is the book I'm currently reading. It's called Love and Gelato. It's very summery, which matches the summery vibe. Even though I so desperately want it to be autumn, I'm just gonna have to live with it for now. And I actually annotate and tab my books, if anyone doesn't know. I highly recommend this book. It's literally about a girl who spent her summer in Italy. Next thing is my pencil case. But this year I got black because the pink one got so dirty within literally a month. So I'll definitely be able to keep this until year 11. It's just like this. I got it from Amazon and it says special, you are one of a kind, which is a really cute little message. Message. So I'm just going to quickly skim through what I've put inside of it and I love how many compartments this pencil case has but anyways the front one here just looks like this I've got my fluffy pink pencil two other pencils a green pen this pen is from Swarovski it just looks like this it's such a pretty pen then I've got this pen I don't know what the brand name is but I've had it since last year then I have this sharpie gel pen then in the middle I have highlighters glue sticks and post-it notes just the biggest things and I actually don't have anything in this back compartment apart from a protractor I think but it's pink now for the kind of like slightly unnecessary but necessary for me things to have in my bag so first I have this wide tooth comb I'm not allowed to have my hair down for school but even when it's it's up it can get really messy then i have this trusty electric fan i'm pretty sure i got this from amazon as well but it just looks like this oh i've turned on the colors but it changes colors which is really cool i feel like i'm in a beyonce music video right now my hair's probably gone all over the place but this is really helpful in school because i sweat a lot and especially when i'm in a really hot classroom next thing which i usually keep in my blazer but it's in my bag for some reason is this clear mascara this is the color lash lash and brow mascara just looks like this i'm pretty sure i got this from Superdrug, and if i'm being honest it doesn't do that much but it's just the little things to elevate my look a little bit and then surprise surprise a sol de janeiro product i have the 62 spray this has been my scent for the beginning of school because it's just so summery to me I love it so much and you can actually put this in your hair too and then the very last thing in my bag is this vaseline cocoa radiant body oil just looks like this this actually smells incredible it smells like cocoa butter it's so nice and especially if i'm feeling a bit ashy at school i like to have this with me 
I will be putting it in my locker though. It's not gonna stay in my bag with me, but this and my spray will stay in my locker. And that is everything that is in my school bag this year. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below when you go back to school and any thoughts about school, any video suggestions as well, please let me know. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.